Hey girls, today I'm going to be showing you a Boots haul. This is kind of a collective haul of things I've picked up recently, obviously ordered through online. So I'll tell you quickly about the process in case you are trying to order online, I think only in the UK. Basically, sometimes they have virtual queues, so I was literally put in a queue with 80,000 other people, so I had to wait over an hour just to get onto the website. Second time I checked, a week later, it was fine. Um, there weren't any queues, you just go straight to the website, so just be cautious of that. A lot of things are going to be sold out. It's a really hectic, um, manic time, as you probably know, and shopping online in general is usually going to take longer and things are going to be sold out. So just keep checking back, um, maybe, you know, if you have an account, log in, add the items into your list so you can see when everything is actually available. So I didn't get to pick up a lot of things that I wanted to top up on, but I will make another purchase probably in a couple of weeks and hopefully those things will be back in stock. So without, further, without, without further ado, let's just get into what I picked up. So it's mostly essentials and things I'm going to be running out of that I use every day. So luckily I picked them up before I actually ran out. So first thing is a botanics cleanser. So actually I've been using the toner if you saw my morning skincare routine and all the other cleansers were literally sold out. Luckily this was quite high rated, I've used it before and it's from a range I really like, it's the hibiscus range and this is actually micellar water. So it's going to be quite deep cleaning and I'm, something that I use in the morning I like to just run it over my face with cotton pads so I thought yeah a micellar cleansing water would be best and I think it was about three, four pounds, so really, really cheap, and you get a decent amount, so this will last me a couple of months. And I love the Botanics ranges, so if you can find their stuff in stock online, definitely recommend that as a skincare range. Next up in skincare, I got some, one of my favorites from The Ordinary, and this is the Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%, so I guess Zinc is the highest strength ingredient in here and like you don't want to use too much zinc on your skin obviously but this is basically anti-blemish anti-acne it says oh i don't know if it actually says what it does um yeah i guess you have to look it up on the website but it's basically supposed to prevent blemishes or acne scars or just any imperfections on the skin kind of dry it out make sure there isn't excess oil and it works really well really, mm -hmm, can't speak works really really well i've been using it for years and i just love niacinamide products because they're so easy to incorporate and they never actually dry out my skin they just kind of focus on the problem areas so i think that one was about seven pounds and luckily almost nothing from the ordinary was sold out so it looks like people are just going for basics at the moment Okay, and then I have a little bit more from kind of skincare and body care, and then the rest is gonna be hair care. So this is one of my favorite pore strips. I just get the Tea Tree and Witch Hazel from Boots range, and yeah, six facial pore strips. So I actually didn't pick up the right one, I just realized. I wanted the nose strips, but it's the same thing. They're just, you know, strips that you apply to your face, so it will work fine on my nose as well. And these are about four pounds. Sometimes they are on three for two or different offers, so keep your eye out on that. But they're super inexpensive and the best drugstore ones I've tried so far. I've heard a lot about the Biore one. Uh, I'm not sure if it's sold like nationwide in the UK but I know in the US you can get it I think at any drugstore but I'll have to check boots next time because those are apparently really good as well. Okay one kind of body care fi final body care product is a deodorant. I talk about this a lot in every haul but this is my favorite so I'm really lucky and grateful that it wasn't sold out and they had like everything in stock luckily and especially with the hotter weather now I definitely want something that I know works. So this is the Mitchum 48 hour flower fresh roll on and yeah I usually go for a roll on now I don't like sprays they're not really good for you or the environment and these are just yeah easy to use really cheap it's about well not cheap cheap uh but it's about three four pounds and I think for a good deodorant definitely worth paying the price and it works really well then finally I have three hair care products first one is a shampoo so I'll go in order of how I would use them this is from Lee Stafford and actually the Provoke Touch of Silver range was completely sold out. I was quite shocked. A lot of a lot of like toning products were sold out and I guess because everyone has to do at home hair treatments now. But this is from the Bleach Blondes range and it's the Purple Rain Toning Shampoo. This was highly rated and I think it was also in the vegan range so I absolutely had to pick it up. And it says it brightens, refreshes and neutralizes yellow shades of violet pigment. I think this will also get rid of brassiness even though it doesn't say um, pur the 
purple shampoo, I was going to say violet, but purple shampoo in general is good for like any really warm tones. It cools your hair down a lot. My hair's a lot cooler now. A lot more kind of silver, dark, dirty blonde toned. So hopefully this works really well. It's quite a big tube as well. So I imagine a little bit does go a long way and I'll leave it in for a couple of minutes to really soak into my hair. So I do that as a kind of bi-weekly treatment on my hair and it really helps keep my hair kind of like the blonde shade that I want. And then to go along with that after when my hair's drying, I use the Provoke Touch of Blonde Lightning Blonde Spray. So it says visibly lightens hair in just one use. Again, the jo uh, yeah, the John Frieda one that I wanted was sold out. So I got this one and it, this one's actually vegan and sulfate free. So I'm really happy about that. And it's from the Illuminex range from Provoke. So it's one of the only Provoke products I managed to get. But yeah, basically they say to towel dry your hair, um, just spray it and then blow dry. I think it works in any kind of, from any kind of heat. So sometimes I'll just spray it and when I'm walking outside, you know, just let the sun dry my hair and kind of get into the hair follicles, lighten it that way. I'm not sure if it works with this one. And for best results, dry with heat and expose hair to natural sunlight. Okay, so it does work. So that's a lot easier than having to kind of blow dry my hair. So yeah, can't wait to try this out. Hopefully it works um, as well and doesn't kind of make my hair super yellow or orange. I don't think it'll be that intense because these sprays are quite gentle, like they're very gradual, which is why I use them. So I'll definitely probably do a blog post review or feature in some favorites in the future. Finally, something similar to what I've already been using, uh, I might have to do a whole post about Aussie hair care because I've been loving it lately. They are now cruelty free, which I love. And this is, uh, so I'm using the Miracle Oil on the ends of my hair. Quite a good product. It's not a Miracle product like it's called a Miracle Oil, but it does work well, does the trick, makes my hair look a little bit shinier, tamed, a lot less frizzy, I will say. So I do enjoy using that. And then this was highly rated as well, the 48 hour sensational conditioning mist. And it's a lot lighter and also because I already use an oil and other serums and things like that. I didn't want to weigh my hair down or make it greasy. So I thought a spray would work really well um, they're just easier to use you literally you don't even have to like apply it you just spray it on and yeah it's supposed to obviously condition your hair it has jojoba seed oil and what else I think it has a quite a few other natural extracts oh I actually can't see any and yeah it's got quite a lot of chemicals unfortunately but I do really enjoy Aussie hair care I know that they you know do deliver results and they are a reputable brand a lot of people love them so I do trust the product I think it will work well but I'll definitely do a review of it after I've started using it so that one I think again was around 10 pounds and the oil I bought from them as well was about 10 pounds and that kind of sums up everything I've got. I didn't get a lot, like I said, I wanted a bit of makeup, but it was sold out. So I actually made a purchase on Makeup Revolution and I'll do a haul again, talking about all those products as well. And I will say delivery for this was really good. It came within a week, considering the circumstances we're in. That is very fast delivery time, um, especially since 80,000 people were purchasing before me. Somehow in the warehouse, they managed to ship it out really fast. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. And I got quite a few items that I wanted. So do let me know if you enjoy Boots hauls, if you've picked up anything recently or what I should get next time. And do thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!